history, tradition, bragging rights. There's a lot on the line today. Yeah, this is a great meet and really excited to get going. We had a chance to talk with every head coach this week, and they are so excited. This is one of the hallmarks in the Ivy calendar. Davis, an infectious personality, and she was not on the uneven bars. Brown's last time out. Great well, landing. We just saw why she was substituted in. And the Bears fired up. This is a really good start for Brown on the uneven bars. And remember, this is one of the most challenging events, an event that multiple teams have said is crucial to their success. Of the six gymnast rotation in each event, you're getting better and better usually. And here comes the dismount. Oh boy, what a dismount. It was a highly complex double twist dismount from Ella Perry. Watch her assistant coach over the left side of middle left side of your screen. One, two, three, and barely a bend. Her first Ivy Classic, though she's a junior, she did not compete as we turn our attention to Abby Contello in the top right corner of your screen. Brown's four final gymnast in the bars. Kiana's crushing it on the floor right now as well. And you get a look at Yale on the balance beam. I did see one fall a little earlier. And another strong dismount by the Bears. Like you said. I believe Emma Davies is next up on the uneven bars. And there's the beam. Wow, great start on the balance beam. Brown is competing very well at the start of this meet. And unfortunately for Penn, Davies fell on the bars. We'll see what McEwen can offer here in her next acrobatics. Coach Brittany Harris said, when we're on the balance beam, we're dancing on the sidewalk. That's the image that she's used with her team. Only three inches wide. Just incredible athleticism and balance from uh, these gymnasts. There's a great shot. As you can see, literally hundreds of eyes upon Lauren McEwen. A great crowd here on hand from the Pensatola Sports Center. And Davies has come out with something to prove on the bars now that she's back on there. But there will be a deduction for that initial fall. And McEwen nailed it. She crushed that. Absolutely, almost a perfect routine. Becker of Penn because there's an Ivy banquet the night before the Ivy Classic and all four teams go and they talk a lot about what these student athletes are interested in and what they're studying and what their plans are after graduation. Obviously, very high achievers here at these four institutions and some really impressive young women that are competing here today and doing great things in the classroom. And here is Maya Davis on the beam, another strong move for the Brown Bears on this event. And the smile tells you a lot of what you got to know. Yep. Because once that happens, you can see confidence starting to build. And once you get over that initial sort of uh, maybe, maybe set of butterflies, it becomes just another day at the office. Except my office isn't three inches wide. And Maya Davis is always smiling. We've covered a couple meets together, Mike, and she is always extremely positive, has great body language, and here she approaches the dismount. Nice job by Maya Davis. She had that one sort of pivot where she sort of wobbled off to her left. Hey, stayed on the beam stayed as well. Stayed on, exactly more focused on their one event and really perfecting it. Wow, front somersault tuck, and she lands it. Little wobble there, but again, stay on the beam, and you're already at a really solid base for your score. Bears have two beam specialists. Marcus is one, Angela Zing, who will be the anchor in the sixth spot, is the other. Abby Contello on the beam in between them. As over on the bars, this is Carly Anoki. And keep in mind, if you're a bit new to college gymnastics, there are six competitors in each event. Great dismount as well, and all smiles for the Bears. But I responded really well 
after a fall on the uneven bars and the Quakers solid and Zing pumped up as well. Here comes Dewar. A good opening pass. I can name that two and two. We, uh, we were here for a dual meet a few weeks back, Mike, and uh, Brown had a, a day on the floor exercises. Julia Bedell tied the program record on the floor. So Brown here in their home gym, now in the most expressive event, and the Bears are loving it. Big pass coming here. A lot of height and a clean landing from the floor exercise of Sophia Duar. And you can see how much confidence is crucial in an event like this. We did just have a fall on the uneven bars. We'll keep you posted there. But the more successful moves, the more successful passes, and you just start to gain momentum throughout your event. Penn looking so strong on the beam. Well-timed routine from Sophia Dewar on the floor. Penn celebrating over on the beam as well. Yeah, Whirlin with a terrific routine in some. Look at that, how about, that pass was just outstanding. Maya Davis, I believe, for Brown on the floor. And she goes classical, went classical music. Her last home meet on the floor as well, and she's off to a great start with a beautiful first pass. So we now have three events live at once. McKenzie on the bars, Davis on the floor, Marr on the beam, and she has fallen. Marr just fell off the beam as a, a terrific result, I think, for McKenzie on the bars. Davis with an important pass. Second of her routine. Stays inbounds as she got deep to the sideline. She was off kilter, off the corner, but again, you stay between the stripes. That's what the judges are watching. Yeah, and again, consistency, right, Mike? If you put together five, six good scores, your team's gonna be in great shape. Right now, Brown, through their three events, have just two scores below a 9.6. A lot of 9.7s. And a 9.725 for Dewar on the floor. So Brown is being really consistent throughout today's meet, and it's showing. A clean routine for Maya Davis. In the uneven bars, as a student athlete, and Cornell turns in a 48.675. Really good score for Cornell as you get a look at the end of Davis's routine. That's over a point improvement. This is Van Zant, a floor specialist. To, to the back spring, got Ooh. great height. Wow. Again, Mike, there are certainly standout performances for each of these teams, but I think Brown's biggest weapon so far in this meet has been the fact that they really have not had weak links. Every performance has been consistent. They seem to be really excited and Right now, Van Zant is cooking as the second to last on the floor. Well, we said at the top of the broadcast, it was gonna come down to the last event. And right now, it's sort of seeming that way. Shaking out that way, yeah. We'll get you the scores at the end of the third rotation, but right now I'm looking at possibly three teams right around 145. Van Zandt kills the second pass. She is putting together a great routine. Keep an eye on And the Bears with one more competitor, Bedell on the floor, as we wait for the final scores. Right now, your overall leader on the floor is Alex Kiana of Cornell with a 9-8. 
And how about Van Sant? Take a look at the replay. Head coach Brittany Harris is pumped up as she walks around the <laughs> scoring table. With a two-tenth of a, she might ask them to talk about it. Or she'll just dance. Here's Julia Bedell for Brown in what is the final competitor of this third rotation. Yep, we're nearing crunch time here, Mike. End of the third quarter. We're about to start the fourth, if you will. What a start. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, 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 I do not make any excuse for myself in terms of this sport, but watching Coach Harris watch, while marching around the, uh, the floor, I don't know how anybody wouldn't want to compete for her. Yeah, she is a high energy coach and competed at Oregon State, a really strong program out in the Pac-12, and she just has that positivity radiate throughout her team. A lot of really strong coaches here in the gym today. It was a pleasure to talk with all of them leading up to this event. Words of confidence into Bedell's pass. Look at Coach Harris in the corner, a big smile. So graceful, so powerful, so dynamic. And Bedell. Spot on for the Bears, their anchor on the floor. And now we'll see if the judges on the floor are a little closer together. De Bedell tied a school record with a 9-9-2-5. The last time we were here at the Pizzatola Sports Center, waiting for the judges to finish up on the near and far side, and Bedell, the anchor on the floor. Take a look at the replay of some of her routine. Well, if you look last time out on the balance beam, she had a 9.8. She's a strong competitor. This is the fourth of six for the Bears and a great landing. For Dewar and then Burton, bang, bang. Great work by our production crew, so you can see the end of both literally in real time. Yeah, this is like fourth quarter, but you got four buzzers going off at the same time, and our producer and director, Becky Schoeniker, Chris Adams. In As heading down the runway, Abby Contello for Brown. An absolutely perfect landing. That was a big one. That's a really big score for the Bears. That's without Bedell's score. Here's the replay of the anchor vaulter. Look at the hands, look at the velocity. I mean, that's a great landing. And a likely above 9-8 for Bedell. Do it for the Bears. And that means that your Ivy League champions with the second highest score in Brown history, 195.2, the Brown Bears. What a feeling for Brown. They capture the Ivy Classic and will hoist the trophy with first year head coach Brittany Harris at the helm. Well deserved and a team that is improving so much. Still the best might be yet to come for Brown. Well, what a fun weekend we have had. It has been a busy few days here on College Hill as the Brown Bears Pass around the Ivy Championship Trophy for the first time since 2016.